Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel, I hope you are all doing well. In this video series I will show you how I made this Pirate Sword 3D model. The video series is of three parts, modeling, UV unwrapping, and texturing. In this first part of the video series we will see how to make the model in Autodesk Maya, so let's get started. So here we are in Maya. I will import the reference image in the front viewport. Go to front view, here, click on view, then image plane, then click on import image. Select the path where you have kept the reference image, and then click on open. Adjust the reference image as you prefer. I will adjust it like this. Now take a cylinder. Click on the X-ray button. Scale it down from the middle, so that it is scaling down uniformly from all sides. Adjust your reference image, if needed, and place it in the center. Then scale the cylinder in Y axis, and move it up to match the reference image. Go to vertex mode, drag and select the top vertices, and move them up. Drag and select the bottom vertices, and move them down till here. Then go to face mode, drag and select all these faces, hold control and deselect the top ones. Hold shift, right click, and extrude face. Select the scale tool, and then scale it out from the middle. Extrude the faces, move them down, and then scale it down from the middle. Go to edge mode, select one edge, hold shift key, Right click, go to edge ring utilities, then to edge ring and split, to create an edge loop in the center, then scale it up from the middle. Similarly, create the edge loops where needed, and adjust the scale according to the shape of the reference image. Then go to face mode, drag and select these faces, deselect the top ones and extrude the faces, and move them down. Create edge loop in the center, and scale it up. Go to vertex mode, select all these vertices, and scale them down from the middle. Create the edge loops where needed, and adjust the scale according to the shape of the reference image. Go to face mode, select one face, hold shift and double click on the side face to select the face ring and then scale them down from the middle, somewhere around here. Go to vertex mode, drag and select all these vertices, select the move tool, activate the Y axis, hold V key, and click on the middle mouse button to snap them down here. Select this vertex and snap it down here, drag and select all these vertices and move them up. Now I will create the blade. For this, take a plane, move it up, and rotate it 90 degree in x-axis. Go to polyplane 1, and reduce subdivisions width and height to 1. Then go to vertex mode, select the bottom vertices and scale them down from the x-axis. Then move them down, and adjust them according to the reference image. Select these vertices, move them down, and adjust them accordingly. Go to edge mode, select this edge and extrude out by holding shift key on your keyboard, and then scale it out in the x-axis. Go to vertex mode and adjust the vertices according to the reference image. Then go to edge mode and continue extruding out the edge, and adjust them according to the reference image. If you like this video, give this video a thumbs up and share with your friends.
Now, create an edge loop in the middle. Go to vertex mode and move this vertex according to the shape. Create the edge loops where needed, and adjust the vertices according to the shape of the reference image. Go to edge mode, select this edge, and create an edge loop in the middle of the blade. Go to vertex mode and adjust the vertex accordingly. Go to perspective view. Select the image plane and move it back. Go to edge mode, double click on this edge to select the edge loop, and move it back little bit. Go to front view. Select this edge and create edge loop in the middle, and then adjust the vertex. Similarly, create an edge loop here, and then adjust the vertex accordingly. Go to perspective view. Go to edge mode, double click on this edge, hold shift and double click on this edge and move them forward little bit. Press 3 on your keyboard for smooth surface. It is looking good. Select this blade, go to top view. Move this blade forward little bit. Hold shift, right click and extrude. Select the move tool and push it back. Click this button for center pivot. Press X key and snap the object to the grid. Go to face mode. Double click on the face to select the entire face. Hold shift, right click, go to face normals, then reverse normals. Go to edge mode, select this edge, hold shift and double click on the bottom edge and move them little bit forward. Select this edge, hold shift and double click on the bottom edge, hold shift, right click, and select edit edge flow. Similarly select this edge loop, deselect the top and bottom edges, and press G key, to repeat the last command, which is edit edge flow. Do the same, for this middle edge loop as well. Here I need to adjust some of the vertices manually. Go to edge mode, select this edge. Hold shift and double click on this bottom edge, again click on this edge by holding shift, then double click on this top edge. Select the scale tool and scale it in this direction. Drag and select all these edges, hold Ctrl key and double click on these edges to deselect these edges. Hold Shift, right click and select Bevel Edge option box. Change the settings like this, and then click on Apply. Press 3 on your keyboard for smooth surface. It is looking good. Go to front view. Select this handle portion. Go to edge mode. Select one edge, and create an edge loop in the middle. Select the edge, hold shift, right click and select bevel edge. Select this middle edge and delete it. Go to face mode, select these faces, hold shift, right click, and select duplicate face. Go to object mode, drag and select both of these, 
Deselect this part by holding Ctrl key. Select the Scale tool and scale it from the middle. Go to Deform and select Lattice. Reduce this T divisions to 2. Select this Lattice, go to Perspective view, right-click and select Lattice point. Select these points and move them down. Similarly select these points and move them down to match the reference image. Go to Perspective view, right-click, and select Object Mode. Then select this object, go to Edit, then Delete All by Type, and then History. Go to Front View, make it Center Pivot. Go to Edge Mode, create an edge loop in the center, and scale it out from the middle. Select this edge and create an edge loop in the middle, and then create another edge loop here. Double-click on this edge, hold Shift, right-click, and select Edit Edge Flow. Similarly select this edge, and press G key on your keyboard. Select these edges, hold Shift, right-click and extrude, reduce the thickness somewhere around negative 0.02. Create an edge loop here, and create another edge loop here. Press 3 for smooth surface. Perfect. Go to Front View. Select the Move tool. Press Ctrl D for duplicate and move it in the position. Now press Shift D, again Shift D. Similarly duplicate another one, position it accordingly, then press Shift D, again Shift D. Well, these are looking good. Go to Curves and Surfaces tab, select the Curve tool. I will create this portion of the handle, starting from here. Create a curve like this. This portion will not match with the reference image. Press Q on your keyboard. Right-click and select Control Vertex. Adjust the vertices of the curve, and make it clean. Since, I am not matching exactly with the reference image, I will carefully adjust the smoothness of the curve. Go to Perspective view, turn on the wireframe mode, to see where exactly the faces are. These are looking quite big. Create an edge loop in between. Select this edge loop, hold shift, right click, and select slide edge tool. Hold middle mouse button, and drag to slide the edge loop. Go to the front view, turn on the visibility of the reference image, and adjust the edges accordingly. Go to Face Mode, select these two faces, hold Shift key, and select this curve, and then Extrude Face. Increase the division. Make it 30. Perfect. Now from the channel box, reduce the taper value. Select these faces, hold Shift, right click, and extract faces. Select this part, go to Edit, Delete All by Type, and then History. Select the curve, create a layer, and hide the visibility of the layer. Now select this part, and isolate it. Then go to Deform, and select Lattice. Increase the T division to 6. Right click and select Lattice Point. Drag and select these points, Deselect the other ones, and scale it out in Z direction. Now adjust the lattice points, as per your choice. Play with it, and see what looks best for you. After the adjustment is done, go to Object Mode. Select the mesh, go to Edit, Delete All by Type, and then History. 
Select this part. Isolate it. Go to Edge Mode, select these edges. Hold Shift, right click, and bridge. Select this part, go to Edge Mode, select this edge loop, and delete it. I will give some thickness to this part. Go to Vertex Mode. And adjust the vertices accordingly. If you like this video, please give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. After the adjustment of the shape, isolate this part. Go to Edge Mode, double-click on this edge, hold Shift, right-click, and fill hole. Now select these edges by holding Shift and double-clicking. Hold Shift, right-click, and select Bevel Edge. Press 3 on your keyboard for smooth surface. Turn off the wireframe. Perfect. Create an edge loop in the middle. And another edge loop here. Perfect. Now select this part and isolate it. Go to Edge Mode, select this edge loop, and bevel it. Create an edge loop in the middle. Select this edge loop, and bevel it. Similarly, give supporting edges where needed, by selecting the edge loop, and bevel. Now, create some edge loops here. Press 3 on your keyboard for smooth surface. Now, select these parts. Hold Shift, right-click, and Combine. Select the Scale tool, and scale it down from the Z-axis, something like this. Select this blade, and create an edge loop here, and another one here. Press 3 on your keyboard, for a smooth surface. Perfect. The modeling part is now completed. In the next part of the video series, you will learn about how to do the UV unwrapping of the model. So guys, I hope you like this tutorial. Subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notifications first whenever there is any new video in my channel. Feel free to ask me anything regarding this video in the comment section. Stay safe, and I will see you on the next video.